I don't see any signs that say do not enter. Good morning, y'all. It is a Saturday morning and we're about to go do a couple of fun things, but first, let me show you what happened. I was in here at my desk and I turned around and I'm looking at the kitchen. See, there's our kitchen. And I heard something and I looked over here in that corner and there was a pitter patter of little footsteps and it took my brain a second to figure out what it was. I thought, is that a bird? How did a bird get in here? No, it was a chipmunk. We don't get rats, we don't get mice, we don't get varmints, we get chipmunks. So now I have to go figure out how the chipmunk got in here. All right, this is our kitchen slide. I'll show you this as best I can. This is, see there's our bedroom slide. This here is our kitchen slide. Specifically, the refrigerator. Now look at this. This peels down. And you see daylight through there? See? You can see daylight in there. That's the inside of the RV. Now my problem is this this is a seal that goes that is flexible and it moves when you move the slide. Same thing with this right here. Everything you see here, everything you see in there is flexible. It moves back and forth as the slide goes in and out. So a permanent fix isn't permanent because this whole unit moves so i'm not quite sure what to do i'll let you know all right y'all i've made a bit of a mess of our pool noodle as you can see there have been casualties and yes i'm wearing socks and sandals again i know you're shocked so here's the deal i finally figured out how to plug it i think after almost a year and a half now we've never had a mouse a chipmunk a snake nothing has come in except for these darn bugs so again, there's our bedroom slide. This is our kitchen slide. So on the kitchen slide, right beneath the refrigerator, now you see this orange piece of foam. I had to wedge it down like this because this space from here to here is empty behind this rubber piece. And so if I put a short piece of foam in there, it would disappear and it's really hard to get out. Trust me, I'll figure that out. So I put a long one in there so it's easy to get out. Now my problem is I can't see it. Out of sight, out of mind. We're going to have to put a note on the slide button to make sure we don't bring it in or move it at all without removing that piece of foam. you got to be extra careful when you put temporary solutions in these things and you can't see them because if you did your walk around you'd never see it. So let's just see how it goes. Hopefully this works. I like chipmunks, not on the inside. <laughs> we are fixing to leave and we're gonna go to another fish hatchery. The uh, last time we went to one was Branson and now mm -hmm. there's one here in Daniel, Wyoming. Now we're gonna go pay for the rest of our stay. When we first got here, we just paid for five days because we wanted to see if we were gonna get infested by bugs or- Chipmunks. Yeah, or the internet was gonna be bad, but the internet is good. So we're gonna go ahead and pay our the rest of our stay here. And Matthew thinks he fixed the chipmunk problem. I know people have had mice in the RV, but how many of y'all had a chipmunk? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we were just looking at each other. I wasn't gonna run away, but it turned around and ran back out. So that's <laughs> how I got to see how it came in. All right, here is the complex. Here's the outside. And it's really secluded out here. It's kind of nice out here, ain't it? It looks different than the Branson one. I guess all of it's inside, maybe because of the winters here. Oh, probably, yeah. All right, there's the info. Pause it if you want to read it. Oh, it goes back in there, too. Oh, these are where the little guys are. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger yet. What we just saw are the round ones. That's where the little bitty ones are. 
and now we've got some modest sized ones in here. I don't know. So here's what kind of fish they are. Apparently they're native. Alright, now we got these long trays where the little bitty ones are. Look at these. They're nothing but eyeballs. Alright y'all, here is the main part of it. This is probably where they have the bigger fish. Oh wow. Wow, and those will all be released into lakes and rivers eventually. Look at that. These don't run from you like the little ones do. Right. These appear to be smaller. Yeah, they're running from this foot. <laughs> those are pretty. I like how the fins are kind of a reddish color. Alright y'all, this is one of these big runners again, see? It's a big runner. And these things are going really fast. We found the expressway. Look how fast these things are going. Did you ever think fish could swim so fast? Did y'all, it was a comment. Did y'all know fish could or do this? Because we went, the last fish hatchery was Branson, and they all came up to you because you fed them there. Yeah, we're not. You can feed them here. No, we're not feeding these. Yeah, Wow. Hey, we're exercising the fish. I wonder if that's a job. Somebody's job could be to exercise fish. What do you think about that? That should be a good job. Maybe it could be a work camping job. Yep, fish exerciser. All right, y'all, we're walking back to our truck. They have street parking here. You see how wide the streets are? It's two lanes in both directions, and they have a wide area to park on, which Matthew likes. Yeah, and we just ate at the Wind River Brewery. Mm -hmm. We didn't, we don't drink, but we ate there. The food was really good. You got a lot of food and great service. Yes, and every restaurant we've eaten at here has been really good, but we highly recommend all of the restaurants here, but especially <laughs> that one. Matthew yeah. got some barbecue burger, right? It was a Brewmaster burger. It was a big burger. And then it had barbecue on top of it, and then onion rings. It was perfect. If you like meat, that's your burger. And then I had the chicken wrap, which was really good. There's our truck. There's see? the dirty mobile. Our night is not finished. We have to go grocery shopping at the world's most expensive grocery, grocery store. store. It's called Ridley's. Is it Wrigley's or Ridley's? Ridley's. All right. I mean, so, it's nice enough. The mm -hmm. people are nice. They got stuff in there. They got selection, but mm -hmm. it's so pricey. So that's where we're headed to next, y'all. Y'all, the average meal in this town is about $14 to $15. That's the average, and then it goes up from there. And I think that's the way it is a lot of places now. Yeah. It, gone are the days of the $6.99 burger and fries, unless you're at McDonald's. Ugh. We just passed a China Gourmet that might we might eat there again next weekend. We really enjoyed that restaurant. You got a lot of food for your money there. Mm -hmm. Look at that van, y'all. That is an awesome van. <laughs> Off-road van right there. That's kind of neat. basket of groceries everybody. Oh their meat is high. The chicken almost doubled in price. Yeah we came last week it was what 287 we're like oh chicken's going down and then it went back up to 499. 
And we have noticed diesels going down. I think I saw one gas station have it for like $4.89. All right, y'all. It's a windy day. I hope y'all be able to hear me. But I'm standing here at the water faucet. And over there, right there, is our RV. Matthew's in the truck getting our water cans. We have two water cans. And it's time to fill our water, but look how convenient this is. Here's the water spout. There's another one over there in front of the truck. So we're thinking if we had a longer water hose. Right now we only have a total of 50 feet of fresh water hose. And we were talking to another RVer and he said he carries two 50s just to fill up his tanks. And then he has like a 25 for the campgrounds or something like that. So me and Matthew are probably going to get another... 50 foot hose just for incidences like this yeah that's the only time you can lift them like that oh, so we don't have to rely on the water cans but the water cans do come in handy how's this gonna work is that gonna work oh okay y'all yeah, this is Matthew's fancy smancy way to fill the water tank oh okay yeah, I see how it is. And look, styling. I got rocks in my sandals. Styling and profiling in his sandals and socks, and me too. I got hot pink socks. <laughs> Matthew, you need to a pair of hot pink socks. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to have to put y'all down for a minute while I figure out how to turn this water on. I'll let you know if I'm successful. Oh, Matthew can barely lift that. There he goes. Oh, there he goes, everybody. Bye. y'all we are going to get us a package from amazon in the middle of nowhere they <laughs> actually have an amazon lock we have to travel back into pinedale what 20 minutes 20 miles yeah and it's the only amazon locker within many cities around us and there aren't many cities it's just nothing so it'll be our first time using one we hope it goes off without a hitch all right this is supposed to be what do you do? Scan your code? No way! I missed it, y'all. It just popped open. That's so neat. I don't have to touch nothing. So explain what you did. So all you gotta do is scan your phone here and then the door pops open and you're done. Cool. There's our Amazon package. Alright y'all, the sun's behind us so I'm gonna film in front of us. You can see our shadows. Hello! How does Matthew's shadow sound again? Hello! No. Anyways, <laughs> we are going to go across the road. We are in our campground right now. Here's the day use area with picnics and stuff. Picnic tables. Alright y'all, we made it. There's the bridge. I guess we'll just climb over this. Yeah. Alright, let's see how graceful Sean is. I don't see any signs that say do not enter. Okay. This is cool, y'all. An old abandoned bridge. Let's see how Matthew does. Yeah, he's taller than me. <laughs> this is neat. And this is the Green River. Look at all the rocks and the water. Now this road that it comes out on is the BLM dispersed camping road. It goes up there on that hill. And supposedly there's camp 
free campsites down by the river on this side. But the road was kind of bad when we took it just in the truck. Yes, it was. So we didn't want to take it with the RV. Oh, a chip might just went across the bridge. There's the bridge. I wonder what it used to be called. Oh, it's probably the Warren Bridge because we're at the Warren Bridge campground. Oh, sure. There's the mountains. It's the Green River and then the mountains and the rolling hills, y'all. Yep. All right, y'all. We're making our way down to the river. I hope I don't slip and fall. Oh, this is neat. See how cold it is. Cool, it's not cold. <clears throat> it's see-through though, very transparent and clear. That feels nice. I wonder how the fishing is in this part of the river. I don't know, but it's a Friday night, a Friday evening, y'all. Labor Day weekend and there's no fishermen here, so the fish must not be that great. I don't know. It looks like they should be. It's nice and shallow. Do you see any fish, though? No. Hey, y'all. We are wrapping up our conclusion here in the Pinedale area. We're at the Warren Bridge Campground this time. Our first two weeks was Soda Lake. Our last two weeks is here at the Warren Bridge Campground. It is our first time at a BLM campground, $10 a night, which we kind of liked because yeah. it, we got water was just right there. We didn't have to drive to get it. Oh, and trash because they have mm -hmm. trash cans between almost every site. So it's really convenient. You don't have to drive to a dumpster or anything. The camp hosts take care of it. They have vault toilets if your black tank wouldn't last. But they do have a <laughs> dump station here too. So you could load mm -hmm. everything up and go to the dump station. Kind of like at the horse track in Sheridan. We had yeah. water and trash and dump there too. But that one was a little bit more expensive because they provided electric. So you yeah. had to pay $20 a night there. We provide our own electricity here, which we much prefer. We did get to see animals here too. Lots of antelope. They'd even walk up into the campground. Yeah, and they're really neat looking up close. I think we saw a couple of deer, um, but that's about it for the animals here yeah. at the campground. They have a gas station that's about nine miles down the road. They are not budging off their diesel price, y'all. When we left Rock Springs, we got it for like four. 50 or 460 yeah. with a TSD we come here and it was over five and they finally went down to 499 but they will not go any lower <laughs> nope. in fact over Labor Day weekend they raised it up some more uh-huh rascals all right y'all we're on our way out we have to stop by the dump station but this time's a little bit different we are in a campground about 20 miles north of Pinedale Wyoming and there's wildfires 30 miles north of Panda, Wyoming. So about 10 miles from us, and we have to head that direction because that's the best, safest way normally for us to go um, up to where we're headed to. Um, it's Labor Day. We can't get a hold of any officials other than like Highway Patrol, and all they did is direct us to a website. 